The victim, Christina Unali, stabbed more than 40 times in a case that rocked the city to its core. Antoine Lewis is live outside the courthouse with the details for us. Uh, Antoine, an emotional afternoon for the family who was in court for the sentencing today. Absolutely, Natasha. Emotional inside the courtroom, in the hallway, here in the park behind me. Emotions that you all are about to see right now. Family members of Christina Yuna Lee grieve outside of the courtroom where her killer just learned his fate. On Tuesday, a judge sentenced 27-year-old Asamad Nash to 30 years to life on charges of second-degree murder. Lee's father says a lawsuit is forthcoming. What my family really wants is not compensation. Instead, we want Christina's memory to be remembered and to be prevent others having a similar fate. In February of 2022, 35-year-old Christina Unali walked into her apartment building near Chinatown early one morning when she was followed inside by Nash. Authorities say he forced his way into her apartment and tried to sexually assault her. Neighbors heard her screams and called 911. Responding officers tried to break into the apartment but were unsuccessful because Nash had locked them out according to court documents. Police eventually broke in where they found Christina Unali's body in the bathroom. She had at least 40 stab wounds. Nash was hiding under her bed. A knife was recovered from the scene. In addition to murder, Nash also pleaded guilty to first-degree burglary as part of a plea deal with the district attorney's office. Every New Yorker must be safe from the type of tragic violence that took her life. And I want to be clear that we hold accountable uh, those who commit these types of horrific acts. And today's sentence, unfortunately, will not bring her back. But what we hope is that it brings some semblance of closure to her family, who will continue to bear the pain of her loss. Police say Asamat Nash was homeless at the time of the murder, which makes a request from Christina Unali's father even more poignant. We are asking the New York City mayor to name one homeless shelter in New York City as the Christina Unali Memorial Shelter. It will contribute to, to prevent recurrence of similar incidents in the future. Asamad Nash said nothing when the sentence was handed down. Now, when reading his victim impact statement, Mr. Lee, the victim's father, actually asked for the maximum sentence. And Stephen, he also at one point looked up and asked, is it to ask the heavens, why this had happened to his family? Back inside. Yeah, really just doesn't speak well now. Antoine, walk us through the decision not to investigate this as a hate crime. That is correct. It was never prosecuted or investigated as such. From what we are learning in regards to that is that while the city was in the series of those despicable and awful anti-Asian incidents, this particular crime the investigators felt didn't reach the same criteria as that, which is why he was charged with murder and burglary using sex as a backdoor, if you will, as a precursor to commit the burglary. Those were the charges. Yeah, very well. All right. Thanks, Antoine.